Oh wow, some new game is supposed to be announced today. It's Xbox in 2023. No way are they going to release something good. We're happy to tell you that you can play Hi-Fi Rush tonight. <laughs> Why isn't this game downloading faster? <gasps> so Hi-Fi Rush was randomly revealed to be a game made by Tango Gameworks and was published by Bethesda. Funny haha -ha moment though, it was released immediately. Being the absolute sucker for rhythm games that I am, I rushed to my Xbox to download this game and let's just say that it absolutely rocks. It looked decent, but mother of pearl was it good. Honestly, there is no point in waiting around, so let's just dive into the great game that is Hi-Fi Rush. Rockstar? Future Rockstar? First off, let's get the story out of the way. You play as Chai, a wannabe rock star who is joining Project Armstrong as a test subject and is given a robotic limb. But in a mistake, Chai's MP3 player gets placed on his chest during the surgery. This ends up with Chai having his MP3 player stuck in his chest. Now he's considered a defect, and as we all know... Defects get recalled! Chai then fights against the mega corporation in charge of the project and finds out some of their secret plans. That's the basics of the story, with more story being laid out through a mixture of cutscenes and dialogue. What makes this game's story really interesting though is its lovable characters. You have the main character, Chai, who loves music and is a guy who has larger than life aspirations. He's extremely laid back and really just chill throughout the entire game. If he just waltzed into my house, I, I wouldn't have an issue. I'd rate his character an easy, able to walk into my house unannounced out of 10. Chai also has allies to help him in battle, those being Peppermint, who is an engineer and the owner of 808, a cat who helps you to keep the beat and time attacks. You have C-N-M-N, pronounced Cinnamon, who is a robot that analyzes your team's behaviors, and you have the Beefy Macaron. And for just one of the characters, he's a living, walking JoJo reference, and I love it. Oh my god, is it so funny, because he does the dance, he has the poses, he has the words around him, it's so good, honestly. It's such a stupid reference, but it makes the game so much better. Each character contributes to the overarching story through their own stories and dilemmas, making the world feel alive and rich instead of feeling like a world that was only crafted for Chai's story. Chai's story all starts with an MP3 player, so naturally, there is music in this game, and it literally rocks. The music in this game is superb and is filled with rock songs to jam to. Each level has its own song and beat, with each boss having their own song. When running around and smashing objects in the world, you can't help but bop your head to the beat because each track is just so good, it's like I'm ascending! The music also syncs up with the game world where everything is bouncing and changing to the beat, which just makes this game ooze with creativity and life, but I'll get into that later. For those of you who don't know, this game is all about music being incorporated into its gameplay, as it is a rhythm game. Chai fights with a... a, a trash guitar? Yeah, he's, his weapon is magnetic and collects trash around it to make a trash guitar. It, it's kind of awesome, to be honest. I'd want one. As you fight enemies, you can attack to the beat of a song to deal more damage and build on the music itself, adding more instruments to the track as you lay in more hits. You have two attacks, light and heavy. To attack on time, light attacks will have to be hit on every beat, and heavy attacks will have to be hit on every other beat. As you land each attack with its proper timing, you can end up doing a sort of mega hit when pressing an attack button at the right time as displayed on screen. This will increase damage output. The mega hit is also seen in certain quick time events and when doing combos. By pressing the two attack buttons in a certain order and with specific timing, you can execute a combo to deal even further damage. This is also to present your special attack, which charges up over time and can be used for even further, further damage! Dashing during combat is also great, as when you dash on the beat, you will get another two more dashes in a row to make a chain, and as normal dashes go, you're invincible for an X amount of time. And what is nice is that you are not punished if you miss a beat. So if I make a mistake and attack at the incorrect time, I can just restart my attack chain on the beat without penalty. This is great as some games give enemies the upper edge when you miss the timing or reduce your health. Hi-Fi Rush does not do any of those things. These timing mechanics are great because no longer are you aimlessly mashing buttons, but you are now timing your attacks and have to actually think when fighting. Your allies can help you in combat with special moves and by disrupting enemies, incorporating them into the main gameplay loop instead of just being side characters. The gameplay is not just fighting though, as there is also platforming to progress through which is... It's alright! It's fine, but at times it can be clunky and can feel like a chore, but it's extremely worth it to get to the next fight. In nearly every level, a new gameplay mechanic will be added for you to 
use either in combat or to progress with platforming. It helps to keep you interested as there is always something new to try out. You also will be able to purchase things from the shop in the game by using the game's currency, gears, which you find randomly in the world or by beating up enemies. These gears can buy you new attacks, new special items, permanent upgrades and more. But of course, a game's visuals can always enhance the gameplay experience. And Hi-Fi Rush understood that with its cartoony style. Hi-Fi Rush's cartoony style helps to bring pizzazz to the game with its cel-shaded visuals and its flashy action, but the way that the music intertwines with the world is amazing. Everything in this world is reacting to the beat, whether that be machinery and the walls, vents puffing out air, lights flashing, if you can think of it, it is reacting to the beat. All of this is awesome because it further emphasizes how Chai's power is literally the raw power of music and nothing else. Step aside, MCU, we have Music Man! Chai is just one example of a character who completely reacts to the music. Every footstep and attack is on the beat even if you mess up the timing. The same goes for enemies. Chai also keeps the beat in other ways. He has his cat, 808, who keeps the beat. But Chai also snaps at every other beat, giving you proper timing for heavy attacks, and 808 giving you the timing for basic attacks. Heck, Chai's scarf also waves every four beats, or for those of us who play music, every measure. Chai is literally a living metronome in this game, and it is awesome. But let's just say that you still can't find the beat. That is perfectly fine, as you can easily turn on a visual metronome that displays at the bottom of the screen to help you when Chai is not able to keep that beat for you. The beat also extends to cutscenes, as they also are all timed to the beat, which is just so cool as it makes it so seamless to transition from gameplay to cutscene. It's awesome, it's really, really well made. The only gripe I have with the visuals is that some levels can feel repetitive with its look as rooms can often look samey. Apart from that, this game looks great and it physically interacts with its world perfectly. Oh, uh... Anyone see the guy that did this? The dialogue in this story, it's dialogue, it pushes the story like any other game, but what's great are its jokes. I was pleasantly surprised to see that these jokes land as well as they do. The trailer made them look extremely cheesy, but after playing it myself, I can genuinely say that these visual gags are great with some new meme formats I am definitely going to use. Jokes are also seen throughout dialogue, and those hit quite well too. Only possible issue that I was reminded of when reading VGC's review is that each character talks like they're from a Disney Channel original movie. That can be an issue for some, but at least to me, it makes this game even funnier because it's just so stupid at times. It's so enjoyable. And if you couldn't tell, I like stupid. Hell, I made a review on Zoolander. Now, here's the ultimate question. Is this game worth your money? Or is it worth your bandwidth if you use Game Pass? As, if you have the service, you can download it for completely free. If you don't have it though, then don't worry, as it is only $30 for this gem of a game, which is available on Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. I can honestly not recommend this game enough, even for $30. It is a wonderful mashup of Sunset Overdrive, Jet Set Radio, and even some Devil May Cry for its combat. Hi-Fi Rush is Bethesda's first Xbox console exclusive, and they knocked it out of the park. Hi-Fi Rush truly rocks.